Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another Gran Turismo 7 video. It's been a while since I've been on Gran Turismo. And in this video, I'm going to be customizing this new Honda Civic Type R FL5 2022. So yeah, here it is. Looking pretty nice. I actually like the design of the new Civic. It's much more cleaner. Like the, it has a very sleek design. It's very nice. Unlike the previous Civic where it had a lot of big fake vents. So yeah, this one is really nice. I really like the design. It has grown on me. And yeah, here it is, the color selections of Championship White, Sonic Grey Pearl, Crystal Black Pearl, and Racing Blue Pearl, and Flame Red. Flame Red looks pretty nice, I like that a lot. Ooh, the blue looks pretty nice as well. Ooh, I really like the Civic in red. You know what, let's go for Flame Red. So, there we go. And purchase, only 50k. So yeah, very cheap. Here it is. I'll show you guys two more uh, two more new cars in the game and the other one is uh, Mazda 3 group 4 so as you can see we have two options here when buying the car two livery options I guess so yeah pretty cool new group 4 car it is a front wheel drive group 4 car so I don't know how well that will perform we also have something new in Toyota well it's not it's not new but we have the ambulance and the GR Corolla Morizo edition. So this car right here is finally purchasable. You can actually buy it, which I actually don't own. So I'm gonna buy the car right now. I actually did not do the time for challenge, so I did not get this car. So I'll buy this real quick. This thing's four wheel drive. Oh, I didn't even know this. I didn't even know this thing was four wheel drive. Okay. And one last car, which is in the land of the United States. We have the RCR Civic. So this is part of the Sema Show Awards or something. On the left side there you can see the icon and this thing looks insane. Uh, so another front engine front wheel drive car. So this update all the cars are front wheel drive cars which is pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, oh, so moving. Okay, is that something wrong with my ears or my headphones or does the car really sound like that? It sounds like, you know those how new cars they play those fake sound system through the speakers? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think they recorded that audio and put it into the game. Cause it sounded so like, what? It sounded very, listen, take a listen again. I don't like that. Why? Oh, why? Oh god, okay. 325, wait, 325 horsepower right off the bat stock. That's pretty decent, not gonna lie. Since the topic of this video is civics, uh, the new civic, there is actually a new civic uh, time trial. Yeah, online time trials. Here it is. So, Honda Racing EMS Fastest Attack 2023. So we, I don't know why the thumbnail, I don't know why the photo is not loading, but this is for the Nurburgring Notch Lifer and this is for the Suzuka. So you have a lot of time to complete this, 31 days. So yeah, that is a lot of time. Oh, there you go, it finally loaded. Yeah, here it is. Pretty cool, very nice. Usually, I, I like to upgrade the car first, so let's slap on some upgrades. We do have some ultimate uh, part options, so that's pretty cool. I'll get all of that. Do we have anti-lag? We do have anti-lag, that is nice. That is very nice, very cool. Okay, I'm gonna just buy all the usual stuff. I'm gonna just scroll past everything so you can see what you guys can buy for this thing. So that's everything you could buy for the new Civic Type R. So I'll be back. I'm gonna just buy everything I need for this car. All right. So after buying everything, I think, uh, yeah, I did buy everything except for the LSD and um, nitro system. Oh, and the fully customizable racing transmission because I want to see what the stock transmission is like on this thing. I should have driven this thing stock. Oops. Um, well, that's my bad. So, after upgrading everything, we have a total of 580 horsepower. 
pretty nice. All right. Also, I accidentally bought carbon ceramics. <laughs> carbon ceramics on the Civic. Yep. I know. Also, let's go to garage real quick. Because before we customize this thing, I want to lower the suspension. I want to slam this boy to the ground. Boom. Ooh, take a look at that. That looks very nice. Alright, also, we gotta turn on the anti lag system, set to strong. There we go, very nice. Alright, now we're in GT Auto, and we do have a white body option. Let's take a look. Ooh. Oh, wow. That looks... Hold on. It's not working properly. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually a pretty nice white body. Should we go for a white body? You know what? Let's do it. It's, oh, it's, it's a new Civic. Might as well white body it. Alright, in the car customization area. So, I might keep the stock rims. The stock rims actually look really good, but I feel like the only problem is that it's not gonna fit. The fitment's not gonna be great. So, I'm gonna find an aftermarket rim that's similar to the standard rim. So, I'll be back. Uh, well, that didn't take long because actually, I already own this rim that looks quite similar to the standard rims. So, I'm gonna go for this. So we got 19 inch standard for front and rear, 20 inch and 18. I'm gonna keep it standard, change the rim width to wide, and the offset, set it to wide. There we go. Yeah, the fitment is much better now. I'm gonna keep the red brick calipers. Okay, on to custom parts. We got front, type A, type. Ooh! Ooh! Type B looks nice. I like the fact that we removed the bottom grille and like the intercooler has been exposed. That is actually sick. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go for this. This is actually cool. Uh, so we got side options. We got type A and type B. Oh my goodness, type B. You slap on a massive carbon side skirt there. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I mean, the whole entire side skirt panel there goes from you know standard to carbon that is actually pretty cool but i feel like that's a bit too much i don't want to go over the top so i'm gonna go with type a and on to rear wing so this is standard civic spoiler which looks it looks all right and then we got wingless which looks oh you know what it actually looks it actually looks all right from this angle it looks quite all right let's see what it looks like from the back from this view you know, it looks it looks alright, but it's much better for spoiler. We also have spoiler type A, which looks kind of familiar. Is that the previous Civic Type R? I think it is. It might be. It looks quite similar. And we have type B. So no custom wing options on for this for this car, which is quite interesting. I like type A actually. Type A looks pretty cool. Yeah, go for type A. Uh, we have no rear options, unfortunately. Uh, racing items, we got hood pins. Pretty cool. Tow hooks. Ooh. Ooh, I really like that. Okay, there we go. Red on red. Oh, we also have roll cage. That's pretty cool. So we have roll cage type A, type B, and type C. I think I'm gonna keep it standard. I'm gonna slap on a roll cage. Hood pins. Let's slap on a hood pin. This thing actually looks sick. Uh, light bulbs pretty cool so yeah front grille is not an option license plate so we can remove the front plate we can remove the front plate which looks really clean looks really nice so i might just do that yeah i think i'm gonna do that type a and rear only pretty cool very nice also the exhaust has changed I'm pretty. I'm. I, I think it's because I slapped on a racing exhaust pipe, so the exhaust. Uh, the the way the exhaust pipe looks now, like it looks different. Doesn't look the same as last time. If if it was stock, the exhaust pipe will not look like this. It will be something completely different. So yeah. On to caliper colors. I'm gonna keep it red. But here are the options that you have for this thing. Pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna change the color. I really really like this red plus these rims I'm not gonna change the color of the rims as well. Looks good. I like the new Civic Of course, we're gonna be testing this out on Tokyo Expressway at night time So we can see the massive 
flames coming out of the exhaust pipe because we did slap on an anti-lag system make sure it's set to strong and we also have this new weather radar system as you guys can see we oh wow that actually looks pretty cool you can see the the roads in the city look at that that's actually cool oh wow oh that's actually cool and like when you zoom out and everything that's actually pretty cool nice all right let's test this thing out Okay, it sounds good. Oh no, that's not good. Um, so, <laughs> do you hear that? That microwave beeping sound? I don't know what microwave sounds like that, but... Yeah, that's a beeping sound if you're in bumper cam and in interior cam. Ooh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's, let's take a look at the pops. Look at that. Ooh, look at the brake lights. The brake lights actually look pretty nice. Oh, I really don't like that, man. That's actually cool. Not sure how I feel about that. Oh, that beep is really annoying for players who play on bumper cam like this. Oh, man. I don't know why they... Oh, I wish you could, like, turn that off or something. Oh, that kind of ruins the, the experience. But yeah, here it is. Pretty cool. Fully upgraded. No tuning done, just slapped on some upgrades and this thing is about to go 200 miles an hour. I'll break here, been a while since I've played this game so my driving is not going to be the best. Not going to be that good. Oh my god, that beep is actually really annoying. Especially when you're like on a high R, especially when you're revving really high around the corner. Oh, that sucks. Well, some of the players who play a lot in bumper cam when you're driving this thing. I mostly play on the... What what cam do you call this? Hood or roof cam? The camera is like on the roof, so I'm guessing this is a roof cam. But yeah. If you're playing on a roof cam or third person, then you should be fine. You, you shouldn't hear the beep. So yeah. Handling feels great. That's for sure. I am on racing softs. Quite grippy. I am on. I, I did set my traction control to zero, and I'm full throttling around the corner, and I'm and I'm not spinning. But keep in mind, I am on slicks, racing softs. To be fair, this thing doesn't have like an insane amount of horsepower, like 800 or 900 horsepower. It's only like. 580 if I'm not wrong yeah some more pops pops and bangs jeez look at that average Honda Civic owner down the highway at like 3 in the morning <laughs> this is the next generation of Honda Civic owners right here boys I really like the way this car looks especially the front very nice. I love the fact that you can remove the bottom part of the front wheel. Like the bottom and they have like an exposed intercooler. That's really cool man. I really like that. Alright, so that's pretty much it for today's video. So pretty cool car. I mean it's it's pretty cheap, like what 50k credits. So pick it up if you guys want to. Really really cheap. Everyone can literally buy this in the game. And yeah, pretty nice. I pretty cool car i am a bit disappointed in this update because the cars are kind of kind of lame i guess i'm not i'm not really sure but compared to all the previous updates in terms of car list i think this one is quite disappointing i mean if you like front wheel drive cars then i think you wouldn't mind i think you would be quite happy if you were if you were a front wheel drive enthusiast but yeah pretty cool car um nice i don't know what else I'm, I don't know what else I could say about this thing, but yeah, pretty cool. If you guys enjoy, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.